If you follow the news, you get the impression that war will erupt soon between China and Taiwan, and the US is prepared to defend its ally. But in modern times, conflicts of such gravity do not occur without legitimate reasons. So for us to have a better understanding, let's put this conflict into a proper context. Taiwan is a self-governing island, roughly 100 miles off the water of mainland China, officially known as the Republic of China, ROC. It has its own governance as well as a military. Due to China's claims to the area, most countries do not recognize Taiwan as a separate state, despite its de facto independence. Taiwan was once a backwater of Imperial China that was colonized by the Japanese during the World Wars. After losing a violent civil war to the communists who founded the People's Republic of China, PRC, with its government in Beijing, Chinese nationalists fled to Taiwan in 1949. While the ROC government claimed to represent all of China and even held a seat in the UN Security Council, from 1971 onwards, most countries, including the US, dropped diplomatic recognition of the ROC in favor of PRC. In recent times, Beijing declared one China principle, which eventually includes reunification with Taiwan, and even threatened to use a military force if the latter declared formal independence. Now, fear of all-out war growing after the US weighed in in favor of Taiwan against a growing superpower, which is planning, according to the Taiwanese officials, to conquer Taiwan in 2025. In March of this year, President Biden claimed that the US would defend Taiwan if it came under attack from China, even though Washington doesn't have a formal defense treaty with Taiwan unlike with South Korea and Japan. However, the US has passed legislation three decades ago called the Taiwan Relations Act, which states that the US to preserve and promote extensive, close and friendly, commercial, cultural and other relations between the people of the United States and the people of Taiwan. The act also obliges the US to make available to Taiwan such defense articles and defense services in such quantity as may be necessary to enable Taiwan to maintain a sufficient self-defense capacity. Nonetheless, Beijing's one China principle is clear. Taiwan is simply a province of the mainland and not an independent state. But for the US, one China clearly has a different meaning. Now, to protect their Taiwanese allies, former President Donald Trump stepped up support for Taiwan, approving some $5.1 billion in weapons sales in 2020 alone. And it seems the Biden administration has continued and ramped up the Trump era policy. Not only that, it is widely reported that the US have been training Taiwan's ground and maritime forces for at least a year. But would the US directly intervene on the side of Taiwan if war erupts? In my opinion, the US will of course continue supporting Taiwan in terms of military hardware and training. But judging from the recent events in Syria, Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan, and even Ukraine, Washington's attitude is unpredictable, and it could be either way except the fact that Taiwan is part of China in exchange for economic and geopolitical compromises by Beijing, or escalate the military tensions there in a bit to stop China's growing hegemony. But why the US is so interested in Taiwan? Based on the explanation in this video, it is pretty obvious that Washington has at least three interests in Far East Asia. One, to block China's access to the international waters, and this policy has mainly two pillars, trade and military. This strategy was widely adopted during the Cold War, when the US was mainly a sea power and blocked the USSR's access to the international waters and eventually was one of the reasons for the defeat of the Soviets. Two, to portray China as an expansionist aggressor 
and therefore keep selling weapons to Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan and other countries in the area. Three, to stop a precedent of a unification in an area that includes other territorial conflicts, such as the one between South and North Korea, right? Now, in your opinion, what are the American options and would Washington intervene in favor of Taiwan, as it has promised, if China uses military force to, re to reunite with Taiwan? Your take is important to me and I value and read them all. I've been your host, Kevok Almasen of Seriana Analysis. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you like to support Seriana Analysis financially, you can become a patron. All the links in the description below and see you next time.